Good morning. Hello, you guys. It's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to a very, very exciting video. Today, we're doing a drive with me and life update. I have some very, very exciting news that I want to share with you guys, but I also have some errands that I need to run, and I know you guys usually love these drive with me, so I thought it would be the perfect way to combine two important things. So I am not wearing my watch apparently, but I don't have a ton of time. It's like 9 a.m. right now. We are going to get on the road and I will fill you guys in on all the important news that I have to tell you. I was actually planning on filming this video two days ago, but we got an unexpected blizzard up here in Maine. It snowed like three or four inches, I think, which isn't a ton, especially for up here, that's pretty standard, but I didn't even know it was gonna snow at all. So I woke up on Tuesday, the day that I was going to film this video, looked out my window and it's dumping snow on the ground. There goes one of my boxes. Like dumping snow, it was blizzard conditions, like stay off the roads, horrible. So I'm filming this video today, instead of the day that I wanted to film it on Tuesday, but you know, definitely would rather be driving on safe roads than, you know, in the middle of a snow squall. Anyway, we have three different errands that we need to run. One of them isn't really an errand, it's just getting a little treat. So first we're gonna go to Dunkin', I'm gonna get a little refresher. Then I need to go to the UPS store. I have a bunch of boxes in the back of my trunk that I need to ship, and I also need to go to my bank. All right, so on to this exciting news. I posted about it on my story. I let you guys know that I was gonna be filming this video and that I had a big life update for you. I put a little poll on my Instagram story so you guys could like guess what my life update was and a lot of you guessed it right, which is so cool. I think it also means that I'm like really bad at keeping secrets though, but I've been keeping a secret <laughs> and I'm so excited to tell you guys what it is. If you saw my 2024 yearly reset vlog that I did, that was the first video I published this year. We went through all of my goals for 2024 and my first goal for 2024 was to get my first big girl apartment, move out of my childhood home, my childhood bedroom, and like start my full like big girl life being in my own space, my own apartment. And I am so excited to announce that I will be moving to Washington DC later today actually to move into my first big girl apartment. I am so excited, oh my god. Okay, so a lot of you are probably really confused because over the summer I announced that I wanted to go down to North Carolina and obviously Washington DC is not in North Carolina. North Carolina was my plan for a really long time actually. And then I actually went to Washington DC with my friend Taryn in October of last year. We went for a concert, but we made like a girls weekend out of it. And it was so much fun and it felt just like a little bit more manageable, I guess, because Washington DC is a little bit closer to home and it's near a lot more people. Like North Carolina for me was kind of a random choice. I don't know anyone in North Carolina. I don't really have any connections in North Carolina. So there really wasn't any big reason for me to be like, yeah, I'm going to North Carolina other than like Raleigh sounded like a really cool place and I wanted, you know, to try something new. But then when I really started thinking about it and this has gotten progressively more and more true the closer that I get to moving. The more that I thought about it, like North Carolina is first of all really far away. And second of all, not close to anyone that I know or anything that I know. I would be really far away from home and I wouldn't have any type of support system, like at all. And for your, when you're moving out for the first time ever, that is a really scary thought to be like, you're moving to a brand new city that's very far away from home and you don't know anyone at all. So Washington DC felt like a little bit better choice because it's closer to home. Um, I know people down there, a lot of my friends are in that area and it's accessible by plane and accessible by car. And I've been there, obviously I went to Raleigh over the summer with my mom, we did like a travel series, but I've been to DC multiple times. I've loved it every time that I go. It's just such a fun city and I'm really excited to, you know, see how my journey goes. I'm so excited for you guys to see the apartment though. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to move in and like make it my own. So this video, I guess, is kind of gonna kick off the moving series. So I'll be doing a move out vlog of my childhood home, my current home. I'll do a move out vlog of that. Um, and then I also filmed, my dad and I went down to DC last weekend um, and I filmed 
all of the apartments that we toured. So I'm going to be doing like an apartment hunting video, which is so fun. I've always wanted to do one of those. Then I'm also going to be doing an empty apartment tour and then all of my move-in vlogs. I'm probably gonna have to do multiple move-in vlogs because it's different than moving into like a college apartment where it's furnished for you and you kind of only have to decorate. But with this one, like I have to get all of my furniture and do all that stuff myself. So I'll probably end up doing like two or three moving in and decorating vlogs. Okay, we're at the Duncan drive through I'm gonna get my little treat to start the day. Where can I get you? Good morning. Um, could I do a medium strawberry dragon fruit refresher, please? I don't have any of the strawberry dragon fruit. Um, do you have any of the mango pineapple? I do. Okay, could I do a medium of that, please? All right, come on down. Thank you. Oh, I don't really want mango pineapple, but I panicked. Okay, it'll be fine. Wow, bummer. Okay, it's fine. I have a gift card, so. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm good, how are you? Thank you. Here Thank you. I'm gonna get your uh, straw. Thank you. Almost forgot. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. We got our little treat. Actually, it looks good. Duncan also, the mediums are huge, and I forgot that, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, back out into the world. Next up, we are going to the UPS store. I need to do two things at the UPS store. First thing I need to do at the UPS store is mail a bunch of boxes that are in my trunk. These are things that I'm actually shipping to my apartment, which is so fun and so cool. I'm doing a whole moving series that'll have information about you know, the whole move, moving out, moving in, all of that good stuff. But basically, uh, what you need to know is that I am only bringing my car. So everything that doesn't fit in my car is getting shipped. So I've already got five boxes back there that I need to ship. Okay, off we go. I hate this left turn. We made it. Okay, I don't know what they did in the days before backup cameras. I would simply not have survived. Perfect. I am going to drop off these boxes at the UPS store. I also need to, I have a personal mailbox in here that I need to close down, but I have one more thing that's coming, so I need to ask them about that. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. I will be back shortly. Okay, we made it out of the UPS store. It only ended up being like 100 bucks to ship all five of my boxes, and two of them were quite large. Next stop, we're going over to the bank. I can't see a thing, oh my God. <sighs> Next stop, we're going over the bank. I just panicked inside the UPS store um, and I spent $15 that I didn't need to spend or want to spend. And I just made my life so much more difficult than it needed to be, but it's fine. We live and we learn. Moving on, we're going to the bank right now for a very exciting reason. We're going to get my cashier's check that I'll be bringing with me down to DC for my apartment. I don't know a ton about moving in. All I know is that at the very beginning when you have to pay all of your upfront moving costs, um, you can't just pay it with like a credit card. You have to pay it with a cashier's check, which you can only get from your bank. So I figured it would be more convenient to do it here at my local bank rather than trying to go to a new location, like a new branch once I get down there. So we're making big moves, people. This is so exciting. I'm gonna run in and get this cashier's check. I actually have no idea how fast this is gonna go, but um, we're gonna try our best. We got it! That is so exciting. Oh my God, I've never gotten a cashier's check before. I would not recommend it. It was a very tedious process, but the lady that helped me was super nice. Shout out to Natasha at TD Bank. Okay, I need to take very good care of that. All right. Next stop, um, on my way home, I'm just gonna swing by the gas station. I have a little bit more than half a tank right now, but if we're driving down to Washington, D.C., I'm gonna need a full tank. We made it to the gas station. I was skeptical of this at first, but it's growing on me. Not exactly what I was craving, but still good. All right, let's gas up the car and head home. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh, I need hand sanitizer. If you've never gotten gas in below freezing conditions, count yourself lucky. It's so cold out there. Oh my God. However, um, that only cost me $17. So we're winning already. All right, let's head home. We are about to make my second least favorite left turn. I just hate turning left. 
So you guys, that is my chaotic drive with me and update. I don't even know how I'm gonna organize this video, but that's the update. I'm moving down to Washington, D.C. and getting my own big girl apartment. I'm so excited. A lot of you guys did ask me over on my Instagram about my job. Um, so that situation is still in progress. I did resign from my role that I had here in Maine. I was a marketing manager at a real estate firm. So I gave my two weeks notice two, three weeks ago at this point. It was such a great job. I loved that job so much. The people were great. The work was really interesting, but I just know like my heart is in the adventure right now. And I saved up all of that money that I made from that job and I put it into a high yield savings account. So I have been building my little like nest egg and I'm using that money to move and be like my little cushion. Um, because I don't currently have a like big girl job down in DC. I'm going to have to find one when I get down there. Luckily, I do have YouTube, so that definitely counts as a job. I don't consider it like a big girl job yet. I guess I should, but I'll have YouTube, but we're gonna have to go through the job hunting process again. I did have an opportunity at a PR firm, but that kind of fell through, which I'm a little bit sad about, because I kind of had that like in my back pocket when I was resigning from my job and that made it a little less scary to like quit my job because I was like, oh, I've got another one. But the opportunity just kind of like didn't pan out the way that we thought it would. So that's not happening anymore, but that's okay. I'm a firm believer like things happen for a reason. Everything works out for the best and we're gonna make the best of it no matter what. I'm in the middle of filming like three different videos right now. I'm filming my move out vlog currently. Pretty much after I finish filming this video when I pull into my garage at home, I'm gonna be packing up my car. By the time you guys see all of these moving videos, I will already be in my apartment. By the time you're watching this video, I will have already moved in. So I'm so excited. Once I post this video, I'll be sharing more over on my Instagram story, sort of like in real time a little bit. So go head over there to my Instagram and my TikTok if you guys don't follow me over on either one of those. That's definitely where I post like the most timely content, I would say. YouTube is usually a little bit delayed just because it takes so much longer to edit the videos. But I'm so excited for this process, you guys. I hope you're all excited too. This is definitely like the big adventure of the beginning of my big girl life. So I can't wait. I'm really excited to bring you guys along also. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the moving content. It's gonna be so fun. My move-in vlog to my college apartment last year was easily the most viewed video on my channel. It got over a million views, which is crazy. And that was actually how a lot of you guys ended up finding my channel. So I'm so excited to do another move-in vlog. And this time it's gonna be an even bigger scale. So I really hope you guys are excited for the journey. Like I said, subscribe so you don't miss any of it and turn on my post notifications just in case my posting schedule gets a little bit weird while I'm moving. But that's gonna be it for this one. I am so excited, like I've said so many times, to start this journey. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you. I was gonna say I'll see you in DC, but you'll see me here first. I'll see you guys in the next one. So let us dance this Bye guys.